Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between primary shear zone and secondary deformation zone. Machining or metal cutting is one subtractive manufacturing process that indicates layer by layer material is gradually removed from the workpiece to impart desired shape, size and finish. Primary deformation is the zone where maximum deformation occurs and occurs around the shear plane. On the other hand, Secondary deformation zone has medium level of deformation and generally occurs in tool chip interface. So, let's look into the basic differences between primary shear zone and secondary deformation zone in a tabular form. Difference number 1, the narrow zone surrounding the shear plane in machining is termed as primary shear zone, whereas, the area surrounding the chip tool contact region is called the secondary deformation zone. Number 2. The primary shear zone consists of a part of work material, or uncut chip, and a part of chip, whereas, the secondary deformation zone consists of a part of chip and a part of cutting tool. Number 3, Microscopic rubbing, in atomic scale, takes place in the primary shear zone due to shearing, whereas, in the secondary deformation zone, macroscopic rubbing takes place due to flow of chip over the rake surface under immense pressure. Number 4. The primary shear zone is the secondary source of cutting heat. Its contribution is comparatively lower, 10 to 20% of the total cutting heat, whereas, the secondary deformation zone is the primary source of heat generation in machining. It contributes about 70 to 90% of the total cutting heat generated during machining. And, difference number 5, cross-sectional area of the primary shear zone depends on uncut chip thickness, shear angle, rake angle etc., whereas, cross-sectional area of the secondary deformation zone depends on contact length, chip flow velocity, rake angle, presence of chip breaker, etc.